Powell's being questioned by Congress tomorrow should be interesting. That guy is going to say the same thing. Like, like we talked about last night, he's going to say the same thing he always does. We have tools in our, our, our chest. We got, we're going to wait for the data. <laughs> we're going to react then. We're not going to react too much, but we're going to react some. Uh, we'll see. It will be interesting. So I, I'll be listening. Uh, we'll see. I bet we just we just chop back and forth. So if you're trading futures, I would uh, I would definitely be aware of that. I'm not in any futures contracts right now. Uh, I thought about going short. Uh, speaking of which, we're just further up. Uh, so the only thing we can really talk about, and let's just chart this out just for now because it doesn't really lead to much. All we have is this kind of little rally, this tiny little base. Gosh, my charts look cluttered. Uh, anyway, we have this tiny little base just, just right here. Now, we know that was the opposing force, right? Some sellers finally did show up. Again, this is just a lack of sellers. Uh, it's not that everybody's just piling in. It's just that nobody's selling. They finally showed up right here, but just a few, and then we sent it again. So we'll see if there's still that area of attention uh, if we do pull it back. I thought we had that zoned out last night. Did we not zone that out last night? Uh, either way, I uh, thought about going short, but just just didn't uh, I, i'm not gonna not gonna fight this trend if i do i'll probably look for some kind of like like this candle let me just scoot that over here a little bit this candle right here remember we shot up came back down if we get some kind of like spike up like that um then i'll i'll go for it you know i'll, I'll go short my stop will be in the green relatively quick on that one um but that's that's kind of my plan nothing nothing right now uh as far as if I was trading futures, I would have to go along. My stop would be, I would just trail it on the, on the hourly. So my stop would be right here, and then I would just keep it two candles back. Uh, so I would just trail it and pray that it just goes for it. Uh, let's at least on the hourly, let's just, just mark this real quick. Uh, we'll revisit that in the morning. As far as the expected moves go, nothing. Didn't really get anywhere. A little pre-market up, sold back off. We're kind of right back where we're at. Very, very range bound. Uh, Monsoon says there is no reason for the market could, to go down. Very true. Uh, so, uh, you know, there that we, we, we zoned this out. That's what it was. I knew we drew a blue, blue zone last night. Uh, I, I do see a question right now. It's, uh, what's your trailing stop percentage? So I don't actually do actual trailing stops. I put my stop, you know, uh, let's just start right here. It's two candles back. So once this one closes, th this one's live. My stop's right here. Once this one closes, it goes up to, to this candle. Now, once this one closes, uh, it will go up to this candle. And I manually do it. Uh, I manually do it like that because if you do percentage-wise, you'll get these spike ups. It'll, it'll move it up, tag it out, and then you'll just go for it, and you'll miss a lot. Uh, so, again, just a manual thing. Two candles back. So Technically, if you're looking at the chart, it's the third candle including the one that that's moving around right now. Uh, I just don't like doing the, the percentage thing. That's, that's just how you give up a, a good trade. I guess let's go ahead and mark this out really quick. I don't know if I would do anything on that. If so, for right now, I guess price action wise, if we shot down, let's say Powell's about to go live or just started going live and he says some word, he's wearing the red tie or the purple tie or whichever one someone doesn't like, whatever the excuse is, right? Someone just drops the order book, sends it, and we spike down to that. I would catch the knife, go along, stop right below there. Hopefully it pops back up. Again, my stop would be in the green because maybe we just send it. And it's kind of one of those check mark days. Uh, or, you know, I just tag out and I, and I make a few bucks. Um, so, uh, as far as the, the NASDAQ goes, this thing is just cruising. Uh, at this rate, we'll be at one standard deviation tomorrow. Um, all right, the expected move, where was that at? Here we go. Expected move for the NASDAQ. Two standard deviations up, puts you at 512.90. I do want to mark that really quick because that is where, uh, if I do see that, I will sell some... Uh, I'll probably sell a, a 515, 513 call spread, which is a bearish play. So if we get somewhere around this middle mark, we cross that 508, that would be juiced up enough for me to sell that. 
So if we do get that opportunity this week, that's probably what I'll do. Again, I just like $2 spreads on, on SPY and Qs. Uh, but we got to cross that like one and a half standard deviation part. Um, and if you guys, if I, I keep looking down, Cody says I'll, I'll join just so you guys know, I got the TikTok people here because they w killed it yesterday and likes YouTube definitely lacking. I figured I'd go live, uh, on, on the TikTok as well. Kind of, I, I guess reward, I don't want to say reward them. Uh, but it, it was cool going live and, and seeing people show up, uh, uh, hitting the likes and all that, which definitely just jumped up a whole ton. Even just me saying that. Anyway, I appreciate everybody on, on TikTok. The camera is moved, so I don't have to, like, fade in and out. It's actually right below the my microphone right now. I am live on TikTok right now. But the, the lives actually don't save. They can't go view it again. They're either here or they're not. At least you guys get to watch it again. Um, hang on. Okay, so you buy the 513 and sell the 515? No, that would be a bullish call spread i would be in a bearish call spread so i would sell the 513 the 515 strike is just your insurance in case it just continues to send it uh it's a two dollar spread so two hundred dollars max uh is your risk less what you collected for it i would like to collect 50 bucks so in that world it, i would actually be collecting 50 dollars, risking 150 uh but because we just get so overbought i think we kind of rein it back in it's just really rare that we send it way past two standard deviations so it, it's one of those it sounds crazy because everybody pushes the i want to risk one to make four and they live in a dream world uh but it, it comes down to the numbers game of how often that trade actually pays out and your win percentage will be closer to 95 or 99 percent uh so definitely makes up for the uh the random losers because uh, they they do happen uh all right as far as the russell we talked about going long last night so if you bought this yellow zone Congrats, you're up. Uh, I would for sure have my stop right here, just below this this base. Uh, it's likely going to tag out overnight, just to just from no no volume. Uh, and again, when, when it's low volume overnight on these futures, uh, if anyone wants to get in, they likely are end up they, they'll they'll buy or short the whole order book, and it, it it'll move it around. Uh, so if you do trade futures and you notice it literally went to your stop loss and turned around. Uh, it's not because you grabbed the bottom tick. It's because that's all that was available. Uh, you were just the little guy standing out, and he took your money. Two standard, devi two standard deviations is rare except for Tesla. Yes, meme coins, Tesla, NVIDIA, Netflix, actually. Uh, there's there's just some surprisers uh, out there that, that are just known to surprise. Uh, anything that has a cult following, usually you want to you wanna be uh, mindful of that. Uh, I don't really care about selling call spreads on the Russell. Let's check out the SPY. I guess if we send it, uh, let's check that out really quick. A SPY, two standard deviations was 567.82. Uh, so let's put that up there. Um... Uh, yeah, I, I don't think we hit there. Uh, tech might, the way tech's rocking, and I don't know if there's Palantir news or what, but something's going on with Palantir. There's a lot of options flow coming into that. Uh, we'll open up those those strikes here in a second. I doubt the S&P even makes it this far, but, you know, if Powell comes out and says, we will make sure the market's fine, even if we have to play the China game and lie on whatever books we have to, and we just send it, uh, I would sell the, it'd probably end up being the 570s and 568s. I just, I don't think that play hits this week. Um, so no uh, no free money there. 